Today we're going to be learning how we can use regular expressions in code. In the previous lesson, you learned about the pattern and matcher classes. They they proved to be important when using Java and uh, when using regular expressions in Java, as you will see right now. You have to make sure you import java.util.regex. Um, that start and that's basically the entire reg regular expressions library so now here we have two strings and this is where regular expressions comes in so we have one string regex and this contains the regular expression let's first interpret what this regular expression is saying or uh, what, it, what it can match so there's going to be a space in the beginning so first we, we have to look for something with a space at the beginning then we have to look for there have to be zero or more lowercase letters at the beginning and there has to be an at there has to be an a and a t right after those series of lowercase letters if there are any lowercase letters and then after all of that there has to be a space is any word that rhymes with at like for example rat or cat or at there has to be a, a blank space between each occurrence of the word that rhymes with at and the, the string text is what the regular expression will be compared with that's why we're going to um, use the pattern and matcher classes as you will see shortly we're going to create a new pattern object so using the compile method we'll be able to convert the regular expression into pattern object we're going to create a matcher object uh, by using the pattern method matcher pattern p is going to use its method matcher to compare the regular expression it represents with the text in regular expressions we usually use a while loop to find the beginning and ending indexes for the matcher this while loop runs until there are no more occurrences of that that pattern or that that regular expression match let's let's observe what's going to happen inside the loop so we have this count right over here that's going to measure how many times while loop runs in order to find another occurrence and here we're going to print out several things so the first thing we're going to print out is how many times this while loop has ran already. The next line is going to print out the starting index of one of the occurrences of the regular expression pattern. What this line is going to find out is it, the ending index of the regular expression pattern. Just It's one more than the ending index. The first time the while loop runs, it's going to detect rat, which rhymes with at which is the regular expression pattern and so the starting index is zero which is certainly right and the, and the ending index is going to be one more than the index of the second blank space so this is zero this is one this is two this is three this is four so the index of the second blank space is four what the end method is going to return is one more than that so we get five so this this appears to be working. Let's if the second occurrence is right, the second starting index, which should be somewhere between cat, the blank space between cat and and. Let's count. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's cor that's correct. That's the starting index. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the what n should return is one more than twelve. And that's 13, so that works. The starting index for the third match is right, that's 16. And let's check uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the second, the, the blank space after at, um, that, that index is 19. And what, and the, what the end method should return is one more than that, which is 20. So as you can see, um, this works perfectly, and, and it detected the starting and ending indexes for each occurrence of a, of a word that rhymes with at, which is the regular expression pattern. This is how um, regular expressions are usually used. Uh, we can use it to find the starting and ending index. And um, if you want, you can use string methods like substring to re return uh, the words that rhyme with at using the indexes.